All right, so uh, talk about that kick there. You know, at the, I mean, right before the half, you think you're just going to run the clock out. Then you get a nice big run down the sidelines. I mean, when he went out there, you get, do you get excited when you get a shot? I mean, because a lot of times the coach is like, no, 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 man, we're going to run it. We're going to go for two. I don't believe in you. You're a high school you know, field goal kicker. I don't think you can hit it. I mean, but when you finally get a chance to go out there, it's got to feel pretty good. And you drilled that, man. I mean, that, that, that's a 45-yard field goal anywhere else. I felt good. I was a little nervous, but I was excited. Did it make a difference on, on, on this field, on a turf field? A little bit. It was a little easier than grass because the ball sits a little higher. Yeah. But other than that, yeah. Awesome. Uh, three wins, three losses. You need three more to knock in. Got to kind of win out. You know, what's your dream? You know, hit, hit that game winner? Yeah. Hit the, get a scholarship to college, too. But, well, yeah, I want to hit a game winner, too. Hey, man, I'm with Anthony Love. Of Romeoville, who just got done, really, honestly, man, you guys got handled on the, on the defensive line tonight. I mean, it, you know, what, it's a huge difference. I mean, last week, you know, up front, you guys were stout. This week, you know, North really took it to you. I mean, that's where, you know, they, they were able to run the ball, pound the ball their back. It's 400-plus yards. He has uh, 45 carries. I know he had more than 400 yards on the night. I haven't counted up yet. But, I mean, how, I mean, is that, that registered at all with the team right now, saying, hey, man, you know, like Coach said, you know, we came in th- feeling pretty good at three and two. I don't know, a lot of a lot more questions now at three and three. Yeah, we we just got to go harder in practice, man. We got to take it day by day. And we we I think we think too far ahead. I think we got to focus on the game that's ahead of us and the day that's ahead of us. And we got to win the day and then practice the next opponent. You got a lot. I mean, you got a big future in front of you, but your future really does start you know tomorrow. And, and I mean, and people want to talk about college and all that other kind of stuff with you, right. but at this point, you can't even talk about college. I mean, now you, you guys got to do something here. You know, so what What are you going to be telling your teammates in the locker room? I'm going to tell my team that we need to stop worrying about the playoffs, stop worrying about the last game, the next game out there. We need to focus on the next day in practice. We're going to win. We're going to go hard in practice. We're going to go hard on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we're going to win the day, and we're going to get work hard for the next opponent. Now, I'm with uh, Calvin Jones. Calvin, quarterback of Romeoville. And, and uh, man, over on the sideline over there, uh, and north sidelines, they were really worried about you. They're like, hey, man, that's a nice player out there. We got we to gotta control that quarterback. We got to put pressure on him because he's going to tear us up if we don't. They were really worried about you, and you did. When you had the time and you had your receivers open, we had the time, you were able to, to pick this team apart. Plus, you throw a beautiful deep ball. You know, So you're a threat to come back no matter what the score is in any game, and, they, and most teams know that. But at some point along the line, they started getting to you a little bit, especially in the second half. They really started putting some pressure on you and getting some hits on you. you know, what, what do you guys got to do next week? You know, to prevent that from happening, to give you some of that time, because when you guys are rolling, you're rolling. Like, next week, I just feel we have to have a really good week at practice, come out for the next game, and just do our best and do it better than we did this week. You know, uh, your your receivers, uh, you know, they're, they're like, hey, I'm on the same page with them. I mean, we kind of got this, you know, like we know when the ball's coming out. You know, you hit them today over the middle, you hit them a little bit late because you had to avoid that rush. You hit them late, and that kid still, once he got, once he caught the ball, he still hit him in stride. Once he caught the ball, I mean, he has the athletic ability to add a lot of yards on. That first play of the game, you know, that first touchdown of the game had to feel pretty good when they come down. It takes a long time for them to get down there. Eight-play drive. They score a touchdown. They think, hey, this is great. You guys come out, and you just shut them up, man. I mean, right away, you shut them up. You throw that bomb, and, you know, it's like setting the tone. And all night tonight, you were throwing some deep balls. Yeah, we just – we practice a lot with the receivers all week, every week. We run a lot of routes, and we just try getting better and better every week. Plainfield East, do you feel like uh, you guys uh, match up a little bit better with Plainfield East? Um, I really don't know yet, but I feel like we're going to go in the You guys play better when you're coming off a loss. For some reason, this team plays better when you're coming off a loss, so I think Plainfield East might have some problems next week. What do you think? Yeah, we're going to have some fire in us, try getting us a win. We're trying to go to the playoffs this year. Skills and uh, you, you know you got to score a little bit tonight, and uh, you know and they were giving you that. They were, they were giving you a nice little cushion there. They were giving you three, four, five yards. You kind of going inside, outside on them, and a little jaw in there going on in the fourth quarter, and, and then you made them pay. You know with, with a score. I mean, but how painful is this loss though? I mean, you know you come into this game three two, got a shot, real, not a shot to make the playoffs, and the, and the guys kind of laid an egg tonight, especially defensively. Right. It's very painful because we came in the game, we won't focus. We could have been like if we were focused, we could have won a game, but you shouldn't come in the game. Well after the game you shouldn't be like we could have did this, we could have done that. You just have to come in the game focused. If not, then you're just gonna get upset. Coach, what a great what a great performance. I mean, you know, the kids closed out the game. It was a good quarterback, had a nice yeah. arm. That's why and uh, but you were able to close this game out. Yeah, Team, that was 
nice for us to close out. Obviously, earlier in the year, we had we struggled with that in a few different games, closing things out, so it was good to do. I thought, other than the couple passes, you know, we played pretty well defensively. They got some really good running backs. They do a great job. Their quarterback and receiver hooked up a couple times, so we definitely need to shore that up. But I'm really proud of our kids' effort. You know, come back after losing the close games we have and now win a couple in a row and play like we did. Rainbowville is obviously a good team. They got some good players. So. Hey, you're back. Uh, 48 carries, over 400 yards. I think it's, uh, you know, I have got that last drive in, but... Yeah. Pretty impressive, man. Yeah, real impressive. He's, we got three sophomores up, you know, right now. He's one of them. He's done a really great job for us. You know, we just had a lot of injuries, and these other kids are stepping up and doing a good job. Is that a, is that a school record? I mean, he's over to like 406. Uh, I doubt it. His, no, his brother no. ran for 500. Yeah. Something, something <laughs> yeah. that I've yeah. never covered hey. the teams. Hey, 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 have them wait right there. Just wait right there. So, hey, it's a, you know, your, your freshman team undefeated, your sophomore team undefeated. Yeah. These guys young, getting better. Yeah. You got to be feeling pretty good about your chances. I mean, if you can make the playoffs in a, in a rebuilding year, yeah. it says a lot about your program right now. Well, our kids keep battling. That's why I said I'm just so proud of them that we, we've faced some adversity this year through some injuries, sure. through, through some tough losses. Our kids have kept playing hard and really battling hard. So I'm really proud of them to come out here. Like I said, Romeoville's a good opponent. They, they've had a good season. They've they got some good players. So it was a big win for us. You've experienced a lot of ups and downs at Romeoville. This one's got to gotta sting a little bit. I mean, last week up front, you guys were really solid against Plainfield South defensively. And up front here today, I mean, that looked like it was the difference. I mean, their back puts up 400 yards in rushing. Really pushed you well, around. A, in that they first won day. the line of scrimmage. Yeah. You know, you know, our defensive line has really kind of been the strength of our defense all season long, and they've done a lot of things. This is the first time. I shouldn't say the first time. We saw a little bit of this from Oswego, where they really go with a double tight look and a power game. And you know, that's one thing that you know isn't probably our forte defensively. You know, we're, we're pretty fast and athletic up front. Um, and, you know, they were able to just tighten down their splits and, and just get a good push. You know, our linebackers were getting tied up. They were getting guys to them. And, you know, they had a great night rushing the ball. And, and we knew if we couldn't get them out of the run game, you know, it would be difficult for us. But, you know, obviously we thought we'd do a little bit better than what we did. Um, from the offensive standpoint, I thought that we moved the ball fairly well. We were a little inconsistent. Um, you know, they put a lot of guys in the box to stop our run game. And it wasn't that it was totally ineffective. You know, when we did take a run here and there, we were okay with it. But, you know, they were giving us a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Chuck Hunter most of the night. And, you know, we feel very comfortable with that. And, you know, him and Calvin have a good connection. So, you know, we try to utilize that as much as we could. Um, unfortunately, we just couldn't sustain a couple of drives and get a couple more scores early in the game. How come Miguel didn't, wasn't back there? I mean, I didn't notice Miguel playing No, it was just the case. Today. You know, him and Gill are both very good backs. Um, and if we would have been running the ball more, you would have saw more of him. Um, but we were in a, we really kind of got forced our hand to be in a heavy pass offense, and you know primarily we were keeping both backs in to help block. And you know Gil isn't playing as much on defense right now, so he's fresher. You know Miguel's playing every down at cornerback, so we just wanted to have the fresher guy in there, and that was the big reason behind it. It was nothing personal. You know if we would have ran the ball 40 times, you know he would have had 15 carries or so. But we got in such a pass-heavy offense where we weren't running that much, so you know we just went with Gil, and he wasn't playing much on defense. Last question, man. Next week, you, you, you still on your schedule. On paper, you guys look really good. Still, obviously, a, a paper's solid. Paper. Paper's paper, but you still got a solid opportunity to make the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, we feel good about all three of the games coming up. You know what I mean? We're not looking past Plainfield East to the other two yeah. because that's the most important thing right now. But, you know, we know they're all games that we can match up very well in. You know, obviously, we've seen film on everybody at this point in the season. And, you know, we've looked a little bit at Plainfield East, and we'll come in tomorrow morning and take a more in-depth look and put a game plan together. And then it's just a matter of coming out all week and just trying to make sure that we're doing the right things and we're prepared for whatever Plainfield East brings. Does a loss like this help you heading into the heading into the, the final three games of the season? Does a, lo a loss at this time is this going to be a, a helpful tool for you? Because I mean, coming off a big you know, game, big I don't win. think it's going to. You know, obviously, you never want to lose a game, but sure. I mean, every time that we've had a setback this season, you know, I think we've come back very strong. We've learned from it. You know, the kids are very good about that. You know, we can come back on Saturday morning and look at things that we did wrong and work on them the next week in practice. And, you know, we've had a lot of success with that this so far, thus far this season. So, you know, I mean, there's always something positive to come out of everything. So, you know, we're going to try and find the good things in it and figure out what we need to get better at for playing for the East.